Let's look at some estimation word problems. Now with word problems, remember that whenever you see the keywords about or approximately, that lets you know that we don't need to find an exact answer. We can just find an estimate. About how much does this outfit cost altogether? Now notice that the question says about how much, not exactly how much. So whenever you see that word about, we know that we can give an estimated answer instead of an exact answer. They don't tell us what place value that we should round the numbers to. So one tip is that whenever you're working with money and they don't tell you what place value that you should round to, you can round money to whole numbers unless they tell you to do something else. So let's do that for each of these items. The hat is about $14. The shirt is about $18. The jeans are about $30. And the socks are about $2. Now remember our goal is to find the total cost of all these items. So now we can add all these rounded prices. And our total is $64. So we could say that the clothes cost about $64 altogether. Approximately, how much more are the jeans than the shirt? Once again, we see a key word that tells us that we can estimate our answer. We see approximately. Now this time we're not being asked to find the total they're asking how much more are the jeans than the shirt. So how much more tells us that we want to find the difference between the cost of the jeans and the shirt. So remember when we estimated those prices, the t-shirt was about $18 and the jeans are about $30. And we want to find the difference in the prices. So we subtract 30 minus 18 gives us $12. So we could say that the jeans are about $12 more than the shirt. Now, if you're curious and you wanted to figure out the exact difference in the prices, you would figure out that the exact difference is $11.12. Now notice that that exact answer, if we round that to a whole number, would give us $11. But the way that we did it, we ended up with $12. So which answer is correct? It is very important to round your numbers first before you perform the operations to solve the problem. So we found the estimated prices before we subtracted. Because the whole point of finding an estimate is to save us some time from having to calculate the exact answer. So when we want to estimate the answer, there's no need to calculate the exact answer first. You always want to round the numbers first and then do your calculation. So based on that, the better estimate is $12. So to summarize with estimation word problems, we want to round the numbers before we solve the problem. Remember the whole point is to help us save time and not have to calculate the exact answer first. If you're not told what place value to round to, use a place value that makes sense for the scenario. So when we were just working with money, we wanted to round the values to whole dollar amounts, whole numbers first and then we could solve the problem from there. So whole dollar amounts are the best way to estimate when we're working with money typically. Another tip that you can use is that when you have a multiple choice question, you can always see what the answer choices are rounded to. If you notice that all of your answer choices are rounded to the tens place, for example, then that lets you know that you should also be rounding to the tens place. So sometimes taking a sneak peek at the multiple choice answers can help save you some time as well. 
So there are some tips for how to estimate with word problems.